we were we were talking to Eddie Jones about Manu after the England game in Rome, and he, he talked about the physical dimension. Obviously, he brings as different to anyone they've got in there at the moment. It seems like we we've all been talking about this for sort of a decade or more. In your impression of the league, is is he still unique as an England qualified player in that position? Uh, I think he is. He's certainly unique. Um, <laughs> okay, as a player. Yeah, yeah. As a, AQP, I'm just trying to think. That's all. I was because uh, Ollie, Lor- Ollie Lawrence has got a bit of that about him, hasn't he? Uh, yeah. There's the odd forward. You know, he's Simmons. He's probably a bit quicker, isn't he? Um, but not quite as powerful. There's, there's none with the same bang, the same, the same. Um, yeah, there's none with the same punch, power to punch ratio as what Manu's got. I don't think. Yeah. And uh, lastly, for me, you sort of answered it there, but um, is he someone then who? can get up to speed quickly enough as in you know some guys need miles and miles in their legs but you, do you think he'll be alright in that in that way as you said as long as he, he sort of uh, picks up the training no he's not an exception in that part um, if anything we want to be more cautious and more careful with his increase in loading right. there's very few people right who can who can step up to that level without having trained up to it it's like when you wake up one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go run the Olympics firstly you've got to be genetically predisposed and then you've got to put years in training haven't you and, um, he has had so he, he still needs that he still needs that um, like I say that incremental increase in training week in week out so he can he can just train at that level otherwise he'll break down in, during the week but he's there now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Alex. Cheers. Cheers, Chris. Hey, Dan. Hey, Al, just, just to pick up on that. You okay? Yeah, you're good. You? Yeah, yeah. You're looking um, look intelligent. All good. Uh, so, sorry, I, I know we always discuss Manu every single week. Um, but just to confirm from what you were saying, he's not going to be released back to you for the Northampton game. You, you, he'll stay with England now for however long they need him. The train Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's just not feasible to make him train three days and come back and play for us. Yeah. Okay, thanks. And, and obviously, the, the power is everything people focus on. But in in some ways, does that sort of diminish the sort of the way he sort of has to think about the game and uh, I guess you, you don't want to, he's, he's not just the lump there's a lot more to him than just um, the sort of leg drive <laughs> it's your job Daniel to be a a lyrical genius to be a wordsmith yeah <laughs> and lump, lump lump is the best word <laughs> I'm joking mate no he's um you know what, like though, we, we had that conversation, me and him when that first turned up here, about where he wanted to take his game, you know, so he can keep progressing. And that was the one area that he identified that he wanted to improve. Because, not that you can, not that you can uh, believe your own press, but as a player, um, as a coach and a player, you, you look to work on the strengths, not the weaknesses. You look to work on the things that give them that X factor that we just talked about, Chris. Um, and so he has focused on those strengths for a long time uh, with respect to how powerful he is, uh, you know, and just the game line, the game line toy, if you like, either side of the ball. But uh, no, his, his, his focus with us, he's been sat in the attack meetings uh, in the attack leaders group as well to try and progress that side of his game so he can He's able to. He, 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 look, he can give 20 meter passes, but it's more those balls right at the line, isn't it? Where he can just. Because people suck into him. Give that short pass, that time of a short pass, which Brad Barrett was really good at. Um, that would like, give him an extra dimension, I believe. He can do it, definitely, skillful enough. Just, yeah. Getting out of that bracket that everyone seemingly has labelled him in. You know, and. That just going back to that, it probably shows with his weight loss as well. Like if it was just about him 
breaking the game line, he'd probably stay a bit heavier, but I think he's he's keen to um, to show that he's more than just that. A slightly more eloquent way, he might be saying he, he does. There are brains there alongside the brawn. Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. People don't give him credit for that. Like people have never given him credit for that because he's a very straight, simple talking uh, individual. So he won't wax lyrical um, about the intricacies of the game. We'll just say it as it is. But you can't misconstrue that for lack of rugby intelligence. He's an, he's, he's an expert twice over, isn't he, at his age at the moment? Because he's been playing at the highest level from a very early age. Thanks, right. see you at the Gardens on uh, Saturday. Oh, brilliant. You coming down? Yeah, it's he's, my, my local, so. Uh, he's supporting us. Come along. Supporting us. Yeah. Don't go out your way, mate. Tw 25, 25 sale, 25 from sale and another 10,000 from Northampton. We'll need you. Cheers, Dan. Uh, Alex, did you wonder whether um, the days of when in need England smash glass and uh, out comes <laughs> Manu were up? Because you've seen his injuries, you've seen how far he's had to come back from when it's taken a long time to get back. Did you wonder whether he was still going to be that get out of jail card? Um, yeah, yeah, because ultimately it comes down to one man's opinion in, an in, in the international setup, and they've got such a plethora of good players to pick from, haven't they? Uh, so I, I, I wondered, obviously, if, that, if he would still be in contention for, because obviously they're looking towards the World Cup. That was what I wondered, but it was always my, my hope and his and drive to, to get him through to this World Cup to get the best out of him. They only, you only really get the best out of the players if they're driving for that, that top level, those those accolades that come with international honours. So that was always our drive, you know, from from first meeting him. How do we get you back into that setup and get you playing well? And anything, you know, thereafter, it'll, it'll, it'll be better for it. It just bothers me. Has he spoken much about? 2023 uh, as a target for him? No, no, we mention it in passing like any overarching motivation. It's there and it's important to keep referring to it, but it's it's very much in the periphery because um, anything he does now re really has little influence on that, you know, moving forward. But it, we, we keep it in our minds because I guess it. it it allows us to be rational in terms of um, how much and how often we play him and, and, and managing his loading. So it, it gives us a perspective over over two, two, one or two years. And, and really, we talked about how him, these have been his best two years rugby, from a rugby sense and also a, an enjoyment sense. And that isn't being injured, is it? So, that we, so we can use that as a, as a stick to, to beat both of our enthusiasms with. Thank you, Alex. Alex, how are you doing? Liam, you're all right, mate. All good, yeah, all good. Yeah, you. last week when you were on, you said the conversation Manu had was directly with Eddie Jones. Yes. About him being left out. Did it change this week or was it again a call through Manu? Yeah, uh, call through Manu, yeah, call through Eddie. Uh, but the communication on the back of that um, was extensive and comprehensive and all inclusive. So Eddie rang me up, and our physios rang their physios, and our SNC and they rang their SNC. And there's a really good plan that's happening. Like I say, we've borrowed the GPS over the last two weeks, um, and we're giving him every last scrap of data of what our recommendations are for for his loading and and what works for him in terms of treatment and keeping him mobile and fresh. So um, I haven't I haven't been in the job long, but even with my experience back at Saracens, been aware of. Anything that's collaborative in the past over one player, I'm really confident that we're going to get it right. Okay, and when, when did you find out? Was it yesterday again? Phone call, yeah, that, 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 that my yeah. manager would have told you, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you said last week he was happy with the decision not to be involved against Italy, that, that he fully understood that he needed a game against Sale. What was his reaction this week to the decision going the other way and he's off? Yeah, we're having a good time here, aren't we, at the moment? He's loving it. 
like we're all we're all enjoying it, enjoying this kind of mini resurgence. Um, if that's what we can call it, three games, four games. So it was bittersweet, really, because he, he wants to keep cracking on here and keep driving this. And then, but we had a chat last night again uh, after we had one in the field, and we just discussed that Manu is made for a bigger stage. He is, and his country needs him. <laughs> so we went down that aisle and then we we're having a laugh about it because uh, I want him to go down there with the same enthusiasm and the same energy that he's had here. And I know we will, I know we will, but you have to just shift your reframe, don't you? you shift your focus and reframe your mentality from what we were doing here, which was properly into, as you could see, to, so I was going to take that and, and, and use and be the same influence down there than it was here. Um, but he's very happy about it now, yeah. Wait, you said last week as well that he lost weight in Manchester again. Do you, do you, have, any, do you have any idea what the figure is, what he weighs currently? I'll be, I'll be guessing. But he told me about 103. OK, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a... It's a gutsy decision for him to admit to lose that weight, you know, and, and not lose anything he brings to the fight, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's still big in it for a back 103. <laughs> it's just not big for Manu. Gone from like 110, hasn't he? To 17 to like 103. So, yeah. It's not like a golfer. You know, I, I'm, I don't even know golf, but I'm sure he'll be all right with his swing. In fact, he is. That was, that was the most surprising thing, Liam. You, you see him, you see his ability to snap in a tackle at that way against uh, Quinns. You know, and there was two or three tackles on an inside shoulder. We had to adjust late, and he still had that punch in him, real punch. And then, when he got the ball at the weekend, he, he's still running through and running over people. Um, so that was the one, like what you're saying, that's the one area that we said, oh, is he still going to have that punch power? Evidently, he has over the last two weeks. Okay, just changing to accurate for one for me, but Rafi Quirk, I'm, I'm just curious about like him playing well in recent weeks for sale, even though he started both weeks down with England camp. I mean, it, it's an interesting kind of a challenge for for the youngster having to like be preparing with two teams, so to speak, being you get a little goal by one, you go back to another and you go on and you play well. We're just wondering how, what, what's he been like in coping with that challenge? Initially, like anyone would, um, disappointed, frustrated and um, yeah, emotional. Um, but only initially, and then we we have a chat, we reframe it, um, we take on board what Eddie wants him to work on, um, and we put a plan in place, and uh, the the acid test is how, how, how that translates to the weekend, which is nothing short of exceptional. Like, he was outstanding, wasn't he, at the weekend when he came on. Just set up two tries and, you know, kick really well and pass well. So, yeah, we've, we've got a, a decent little routine. Not that you want a routine of that nature. Get dropped, give us a call. Uh, or, or don't get picked well, give us a call. We, we've got a, a decent enough relationship where I, I feel like he can say how he feels and that's part of the process. You vent, you, you understand, you get a plan and you go back and you, and you do it better. That's very Alex, thank you. Cheers, Liam. Alex, can I just jump in again quickly and ask uh, what, what you made of how Tom Curry's handled himself captaining England and just the sort of wider kudos, if you like, for the club, like uh, an England captain from the club, is that good news for Sale? It's great for Sale. It's, it's really good for Sale. Um, of course it is. Any, any publicity is good for us, as you know. We need it all. Uh, Tom, Tom was ill last week. Did anyone know that? Yeah, yeah. yeah they uh, said he barely trained. He didn't. Like, I'll speak to him and he was still in bed on like, Thursday. And uh, kind of shows the measure of the man, doesn't it? To be able to, to get himself out of bed and play as well as he did. Uh, he, 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 he seems all right. Like, he, the first week, there was a lot more noise around him. He knew that against Scotland. Then... Obviously, last week he wasn't, he wasn't in much, but um, he said that the leaders at the weekend in the Scotland game were really good and helped him out. 
uh, the the on-field, which is kind of what we talked about, you can lean on some of those more experienced players. There's not many few more experienced, more experienced leaders, if you will, because he's only young, to help him manage the team. And he said they were all really good coming forward. So I think that's given him a bit of confidence that, uh, although heavy is the head that wears a crown, it's not as heavy as he thought it it would be. Yeah, and I guess I guess the, the benefit for the club also be when he comes back having had the experience of being put in that situation and, and getting to grips with it, it's just going to, I guess, overall have a positive impact on his development. Yeah, as a person, yes, as a leader. And, there, and I mentioned it last time, there's probably, there's different types of leaders, isn't there, as we all know. Members that lead from the back, members from the front, good orators. Um, yeah, you know, man, man managers or whatever. He he is, he is very much suited to leading at international level because of the intensity and the standards that he sets himself. And as as Eddie talked about, there's no one better to lead by example. That intensity at a club level can burn people out over the course of eleven months. I've I've kind of seen it a bit. So um, there might be. I'm sure there will be like of everyone a need for conversations and a teething period when he does come back in, just to understand what 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 we need and how we can best contribute here.